Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, and I'm warm. I'm nervous. I'm warm. God, we are going to be sweaty, Rex. <laughs> mm. Mm-mm. Just listen to it. Don't watch it. It's fine. <laughs> Usually, this is the hottest room in the world. Today, it is like five thousand degrees Celsius because it's boiling hot outside. So, I'd like to apologise to my my first guest. Well, my only guest today. I've said my first guest. I was about to say, who else have you got? <laughs> You're just the filler and wow. then we wheel in Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg. <laughs> but you are an actress, a vlogger, a, a cosplayer, a presenter. That, like, At this point, I'm longing for the day to find something you can't do, Alice Johnson. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, I can't dance. I try. Well, you know now I'm going to say prove it. Oh, I used to do musical theatre, but it doesn't mean I can dance. <laughs> used to being the operative word there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you go on stage and I oh no, never again. I graduated uni and I was like, never again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, money well spent on that course then. <laughs> Only several thousand pounds in debt for learning to dance that I still can't do. And now I do TikTok dances. <laughs> I actually always said I would never do a TikTok dance. And then now my two best friends do them. So I'm like, okay, I'll try. I've I've contemplated it and I'm like, oh, now I need to see this sweaty bloke with a mortgage attempt it. It would be really quite tragic. So I know how you feel about doing it. I think you could. Bless your soul. I think the heat's already got to your head in here. You don't, you cannot think I could. I think you could. I think you should do it in your wedding, wedding suit. What? Oh, oh imagine my fiance's face when I'm like, a first dance here. Do you mind if we post this on TikTok, by the way? I, I don't love you that much. I love I love the interaction engagement I'll get. No, but me and my best friend, I went to her wedding and we did the bejeweled Taylor Swift dance, her in her wedding dress and me in my dress at her wedding. I, I will do I will do the exact same dance. Yeah, so I don't you. think you have any excuse, really. Well, no, well, you're there now as my choreographer. <laughs> <laughs> That's more money I can spend now. Brilliant. I can pay you to be there as well as the, the florist and the meals and the, ah, good. As she's walking down the aisle, you should do the hot to go dance. Have you seen it? Have I seen it? I live I'm it. I'm obsessed with Chapel Road. I I'm obsessed live with it. that. <laughs> oh my God. For, genuinely, you might have just ruined my wedding for everyone but me. As she's walking down. But like really emotional, like one soul tear. Hey, Do have you seen like the, <laughs> like the bardcore, like the opera st- versions of songs? Where were you when I was planning my wedding? <laughs> it's so like I've got a week and I have to scrap everything we've done so that I can get an acoustic chapel roan from someone who <laughs> themselves cannot dance your fiance is gonna hate me <laughs> <laughs> and me too <laughs> but you are used to this heat of the studio because you've just come back from holiday yeah how was it it was amazing yeah. <laughs> i swam in the ocean it was beautiful but i did work out there so i gave you like such a good introduction so like i'm assuming you've brought back like holiday sweets or souvenirs um i can teach you a couple words in turkish it's not quite sweet, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> so, merhaba, like merhaba. Merhaba. Is hello. There you go. And there we go. I, now, I only need like 700,000 more and we could do this whole podcast in Turkish. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> merhaba. And anything else? Nasan. Nasan, what's that mean? That means, how are you? Genuinely, little by little, I could do this whole <laughs> podcast. So That's literally how I started this podcast off. Hello, how are you? I'm so predictable. <laughs> I've already forgotten it. Merhaba and Nasan. N- so it's Nasal Sun, but you can say like Nasan. All right. Someone's <laughs> a bit. You was actually getting a bit. You could have just gone, yeah, it's fine. Like he'll never actually learn it. All of a sudden, your eyes wide. He was like, no, Daniel. Get uh, it right. Actually, <laughs> that <laughs> is not correct. <laughs> I was on holiday for a week. I think I know how to speak Turkish fluently. <laughs> so I'm going to have to have a drink already because I am boiling good. hot yeah, in here. Yeah, me too. I feel like 98% of this podcast is just going to be hearing us like glug water. <laughs> mm. I don't know why I thought I could talk with my mouth full of water. There. I nearly waterboarded myself. Mm. So at this point, I feel like you must be pretty sick of seeing my face because we worked together on a shoot recently. We did. It was lovely. We did a little Would You Rather. And my God, you were so good in it. No, I wasn't. You was. You were so funny. Oh, bless you. It would have been awful if I, my God, you were crap. God, you, <laughs> you were well boring. <laughs> I've actually brought you here. We're going to watch it now and just sit back and review and go, you could have said something really funny there. And you didn't. You really let me down. <laughs> but one thing that blew my little mind, you picked Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Oh, don't. Over Tobey Maguire's yeah, Spider-Man. Did. 
What was the logic in that? So now upon seeing the comments on that post, mm-hmm. I feel like I should have regretted my choices. But hear me out, right? I know Toby is the blueprint. I know he's the OG. I get that. I respect that. But I am an Andrew girly and I can't help which Spider-Man I love. Sorry, but what makes you an Andrew girly? I just feel like for me, it was just a better embodiment of Peter Parker. And I feel like he can act. The, the fact that you could have lied and gone Toby Maguire and just save yourself from the comments, <laughs> but you're you're doubling down and going, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not this being bullied <laughs> by random people on the internet. What about bullied by friends in a podcast studio? Because I'm willing to do that. Toby Maguire, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was easy. You're welcome, internet. <laughs> Who? Uh, where do they rank? So you've got Tom in there. Where does he rank oh, in it? Oh, so this is where my Gen Z comes out. I'm mm-hmm. 25, so I don't I don't know if I'm actually Gen Z or not. But I'm 31. I don't know what any of these things mean. <laughs> but I do love Tom Holland. Yeah. Like I love his his Spider Man was the Spider Man that made me want to cosplay it. Whereas I hadn't really had an interest in cosplaying Spider Man before. You two are very similar people. <laughs> I'd say your your girlfriend I... Zendaya is stunning as well. Yeah. I am. Um, people actually say I give Tom Holland energy. Yeah. In, in what way? I guess I'm just a little like puppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! If anyone's listening <laughs> to this, you've missed out on the hand actions, which are just you were twirling imaginary batons or something. It was really cute, <laughs> holding invisible sparklers. <laughs> oh my god! I actually want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I've got any moisture in my being because this room is so hot. It's boiling. I think it's just evaporate. It'll just come out of steam. Do you know what? It's not that bad. You tr- yeah, We get it. You just come back from Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back again in two weeks. Are you? Yeah. Oh, my God. So I actually have a partner out there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've been watching the vlogs. So you all right. Yeah. <laughs> my one vlog. <laughs> oh. yeah, I said vlogs a bit too <laughs> extreme. I watched the vlog. But what a great 10 minutes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so good. I loved making it. Thank you. Yeah. Is that why you're going back out now? It's like, yeah, sure, I could see him. Blah, blah, blah. Or is it because you want to make more content? You need stuff for the vlog. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he is pretty cute, so. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I agree. Pretty cute. <laughs> I might send my fiance out to Turkey or somewhere just because I'm like, great, and get some videos like, out of this. Come on. <laughs> like, what have I got going back to at Brentwood? Like, here we are, still watching is that Netflix. Where you're from? Yeah. Wow, you're an Essex boy. Essex boy. Oh, my God. I always get mistaken that I'm from Essex, but I'm from South London. Right, you saying it like that <laughs> made me think you was more Essex than ever. I'm from South London. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Dick Van Dyke was in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought you was an Essex girly. I am not, but I, oh, I'm about to out myself here. So Please. I did musical theatre at uni, right? Mm-hmm. And f- the first uni I went to, I dropped out because I ended up hating it. Yeah. But I did Love Island the musical. <laughs> 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 it was horrendous, and I played a girl from Essex. I, right, okay, I want to talk about movies. Obviously, this is a movie, movie <laughs> podcast, but I've never wanted to talk about something more in my whole life. Honestly, it's one of those things that, like, trauma is locked away in a box at the back of my brain, but it just came out. And here I am with the key, <laughs> yeah. slowly opening it, <laughs> inflicting this horrible memory upon everyone. Oh, it was awful. What songs did you sing? Oh, my God. Our house. No. <laughs> No. no, 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 madness. It wasn't our house, it was madness, but it's the one, Must Be Love. <laughs> no, so it wasn't even original songs. <laughs> no, it was a cheap pop music. What? And then we had an ABBA mega mix. But, but... I, I feel sick. <laughs> I genuinely feel sick. Honestly, it's a, it's a time in my life I'm really not proud of. And I can't believe I'm talking about it. No, nor can I. Nor let's, can I. Let's move on. <laughs> Rip this cue card up. <laughs> Right, so anyway, imagine you going like, oh, I've got a text. It tells me I'm going on a date. Must be love, <laughs> love, love. Oh, God, it's awful. No, but then we did um, La La Land. Uh, what's the one where... Oh, you didn't do the musical La La Land. You did... I did a song from La La Land. Oh, <laughs> if I was Emma Stone, I'd sue you for this. I would actually take you to court. Right, what was the song? You got City of Stars. It wasn't that one. Um, the one where they're all getting dressed for the party. Oh, dun, 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 <laughs> My body's like locking up. It's like I've been possessed. Someone <laughs> in the crowd could be the... <laughs> yeah. No. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the second I left that uni, I blocked everyone, so I would never have to be reminded of it ever again. This is like therapy. Do you want to lay down on the sofa and I can say like, so how does that make you feel? Are you okay with yourself? <laughs> yeah, now I am. <laughs> oh my God. Genuinely, I've never wanted to see something more in my life. If we ever go out and have a drink, I promise you that, you, you know what? Let's not talk about movies. I just want a full <laughs> reenactment of this. Honestly... You're never going to get one. It's <laughs> locked away from my, from my memory. Wow, I cannot believe you dropped doing dance from your life with such a career as <laughs> Love Island the musical. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Well, let's let's move swiftly on. Swiftly on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, you fanning yourself down as well. And I'm like, what have I done? My career's gone up in fucking tatters. Oh, God. That Honestly, I might post <gasps> nothing but Love Island now. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. You've already got me rinsed on the internet with the <laughs> video. <laughs> Is this right. my strategy? If I take down every TikToker in the world, oh. I can be the only one. If I get them all sort of cancelled or roasted, that's a fucking smart move from me. It's hilarious. But let's chat uh, D23. D23. Big, 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 big announcements there. What was the one that made you be like, oh my Christ? Well, obviously, the Hercules West End show. 100% that's the correct answer. Oh my God, mm -hmm. I am a Hercules gal. That is and my favourite. We know you're a dancer, so fingers crossed <laughs> if the producers are listening. Um, hire me? Yeah. <laughs> I'll play the front half of, you know when Pain and Panic turn into the pretty unicorn? Yes. The pretty Pegasus? I'll play the front half of that. Oh my God, you are such a pretty Pegasus. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Pink Pony Club. <gasps> because we love Chapel Row. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Again, for those just listening... Alice has done the weird invisible sparkles <laughs> <Woo>! again. <laughs> I mean, that has bangers for days. What's the best banger from it, from Hercules? Oh, I feel like the, the like, what's the word? Like, stereotypical one is yeah. like, won't say I'm in love, but zero to hero. Zero to hero. Zero to hero. Bless my soul, Herc was on a roll. <laughs> oh. And like, on the, on the like, ceramics, and then yeah. he like, oh. I wonder how they're going to do that. Did you just flex your Hercules muscles there? Yeah. You can honestly play them all. <laughs> as long as there's no dancing involved at all. I feel like they should make Hercules like sapphic and then I play Hercules. Because I go to the gym. You do, you, To be fair, you look, your arms are better than mine. Oh, see? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> look at that. Just a slight jiggle on mine. We'll put, I'll, I'll wear a long sleeve next time. Anyway, how do I like, if I just sort of stretch no, the arms out? No, you're fine. Oh, thank you. Honestly, come you're in beautiful. more often. Can you just come in? Like, even if you're not on, just sit in the corner and I, someone says, like, oh, Dan, your hair's out of place. But no, Dan, no. your hair looks perfect as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, that TikTok dance you did at your wedding, it was so good. You're so, with just a bit more practice, it could be perfect. I'm not taking dance steps from you. Stop this. <laughs> bit more practice, we could be perfect at it. So true. Lilo and Stitch, live action <gasps> Lilo and Stitch, by the way. Stop, stop. Have you seen the live action Stitch? Yeah, he looks like a little the... French bulldog. <laughs> 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 to be fair, you've got a bit of the Stitch coding on yourself today. Oh, what do you mean you're wearing blue? <laughs> Not that you're hairy and have huge ears. No, I'm saying you're blue. <laughs> oh my God, please. After you were so polite to me. Uh, anyway, you're the best TikToker I've ever seen. Really good at cosplay. Uh, please, what can we if, still be friends. What if? Do you ever go to Comic Con? Yes. What if? You do Lilo and I do Stitch. Shake on it now. I want to be Lilo so badly. <laughs> because all I have to do is walk around with like a little sandwich. That's what she has. Do you know what I mean? A little like lovely flowy dress. And I've got the legs for yeah, it. You do. You've got the arms as well. <laughs> You're right. I've got seven year old lady arms. Good. Good. You know the beauty? I can clip all of these bits out. I could just come off so brilliantly. No one will ever know about my tiny weedy Lilo arms. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, they're weedy. We can both agree on that. If I can roast you for being a bad dancer, you can have a go at me for this. I'm actually not that bad, I promise. I do... Uh... <laughs> please, what other musicals have you done? Please riddle me this. Adam's Family, actually. What songs did you incorporate into it? Like you had no, to do... no, no, no. It's a full musical. It has its own songs. Really? Yes. Did you not know that? No. It had... Um... I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. But she's great and she was... She sounds brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> she's really good. I'm, I love her work. 
Oh my god. She's got great hair. <laughs> yeah, great. I assume. <laughs> But they had to, I think they had a UK one and there was a girl from like EastEnders. You know Ronnie and Roxy, the twins? Y- do I? Yes. <laughs> it was one of them that was more to show. What, and you was in that with them? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, imagine. No, I was in a shitty like uni one. <laughs> wow. I feel like every project I do with you is like, let's just roast Alice. <laughs> what Anyway, did you fail any of your GCSEs while we're at it? Let's keep it going. Actually. No, please don't. Please. Unless it's a good story. Otherwise, I'll go home crying. Well, I passed Spanish. And then she thought, then she literally came up to me and said, oh, my God, you were in my special group. I didn't think you were going to pass. <laughs> and she let me cheat. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> she let me cheat on my vocabulary test because I had the dictionary and then my words written out. So you can't come at me and go, yeah, no, I passed because I had all of the answers. You can't come with that. Th- like, that doesn't count. See, <laughs> see, I know Spanish as well. I'm also going to pick up my cue cards. Like, I was about to say, we should probably like, talk about oh, movies. Oh, no, no. It just says here, roast Al- Alice for being bad at Spanish. That's, in- that's great. Oops. But yeah, no, live action, Lilo and Stitch. I'm so excited. I'm fully on board for Primark to have a field day with the amount of merch they're going to make from that. I'm so excited. I've got a Stitch makeup bag and I just... Could you imagine the live action Stitch on that makeup bag? And uh, Zach Galifianakis is in it. He plays... You know Jum- Jumba? The big guy? Duh. So I'm already like very hyped for this. Oh my God, that's going to be it's amazing. Be great. And then obviously Moana too. But that was, that was already announced, but... Yeah. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for that one because when Disney announced sequels, I'm like, I'm excited for it if the first, like the one before it was good. So like Moana, bangers for oh, days. Oh, it was one of my favourites. But then like Toy Story 5 being announced, you know what I mean? Like Toy Story 1, 2 and 3. My Beautiful. God. Hang I them. still haven't seen 4. Don't. <laughs> Just know. <laughs> you know. You don't need to. You don't need to. It's fine. Let it rest with 3. <laughs> I don't know if that makes for a good podcast, me doing the entire thing. I don't know if it works. But, yeah, I'm just like, at this point, give Tom Hanks and Tim Allen a little rest. Like, like just let them... Let them live their lives. They've done enough. Yeah, Tom Hanks has got a lot going on. What you is know. he doing? Well, he's just one of the greatest actors of all time. So true. Do you know what I watched for the first time the other day? Go on. The Green Mile. Oh, my God phenomenal film i sobbed my eyes out yes oh my god at the very end when michael clark duncan's like crying and like oh uh, don't 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 turn off the lights whatever he says and all that oh my giddy aunt that film tom hanks is incredible hot take tom hanks <laughs> one of the best actors of all time we think he's pretty good <laughs> we think he's pretty good but also i kept hearing woody the whole time <laughs> oh look at that police guard he's so cute i bet there's a little snake in his boot oh Lift up your shoe, what does it say? <laughs> It'd be easy to be a, a prisoner in that place. You just look at Woody, like Tom Hanks, Aww. and he just drops to the floor. <laughs> he can't he can't be seen. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not I'm not necessary like I'm not sure we need Toy I Story think, Five. Yeah, I feel like there are some stories that are so magical you can just like let them be. Yeah. You know? Like as well as like some films live action you just don't need, like if they're not done well. Yeah, because it's weird they're doing the Mufasa film. So they're doing a Lion King prequel, which again, I hated the Lion King. Yeah, I was about to say, when the Lion King was so bad, you don't, I feel like, leave that one, take the out. Yeah, yeah, 100%. The the first one, I was just like, it's just the exact same as the animated one, but just uglier. Just like a bit, like from Wish. The hair behind you as well. I'm going to drag them now. (laughs) I'm joking. People people comment on my post sometimes when I cosplay, it's like, oh, the Wanda from Wish. So... (laughs) Please say like Wanda from Amazon Prime or something. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's savage. From Wish. Wait till they vintage. Wait till they see my Wanda Maximoff. Oh, I haven't got one, but oh. for you, just so I can bump you up to bump you up, so you're not the Wish one. Oh, I will take the Wish for you. That's so kind of yeah. you. I've got to buy an elaborate Wanda Maximoff costume now, just so that my three followers can go. You're not it. Oh. I would be gross as a Wanda. I don't think so. Why don't you do Quicksilver? Done. God, you're making me cost a fortune. I got to buy a Lilo and Stitch costume. <laughs> you've only got to buy the Lilo because I'll buy the Stitch. Yeah, thank you. That's kind of you. Yeah, you've really put in an effort in that. It's like a big furry animal. Yeah. I've got an orange dress. Is that now? <laughs> I will hold you to this. Incredibles 3 as well. 
Okay, so you're hyped for this. Violet, my beloved. Yeah. I am so excited for this film. Why? What makes you so hyped? I love The Incredibles. Oh, Incredibles 1. Gr- like, one of the greatest animated films. I absolutely love it. I ha- I was obsessed with Violet. I feel like she was my, like, bi awakening when I was growing <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? What did you think of number two? See, I did quite like it. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't. Mm hmm. But I quite liked it. It just won't. Sometimes with Pixar, I'm like. Inside Out, I think, is not just one of the best animated films. I think it's one of the best films, full stop. See, I, I didn't like it the first time I watched it. And then... I'm about to kick you out no, of this No, no, podcast. no, 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 listen, listen, listen. I got 20 minutes in, but I feel like I watched the... What's the pink elephant? Bing Bong. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that bit. So I just tuned in like... 20... <laughs> <laughs> you do know how films work, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> I know, I don't know why. And then when I actually sat down and watched it the whole way through, I was like sobbing like a baby. Yeah. I love that film so much. Let's never watch a film together. If I go, should you watch Titanic? You're like, no, I've seen the ship sink. Well, no, you have to watch the whole thing. Nav, fuck it. I've seen the ship sink. That's all I need. <laughs> I've seen 20 minutes of Forrest Gump and he was sat on a bench and I was like, yeah, no. This is Woody all over again. I don't need that. Nah, this, this Toy Story looks rubbish. Why can't he walk properly? <laughs> but have you ever seen Soul? Yes, loved Soul. That, that got me. Because that was a bit of a sleep one because it came out during COVID, didn't it? Yeah, no one really spoke about it. But lo- yeah, love, love, love Soul. It's amazing. I've got a mug with the jazz club on it. Oh my God, you're cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're genuine. All it took was you to say, I've bought a mug from the Disney store. I'm like, oh my God, you're the coolest person I know. God, I wish I was you because you've got a mug from Seoul. I think we should book this now. Now that we're cosplaying duos, can we go to Florida, please? Because of the announcements they've made. I So I'm actually going in September and I'm so excited, but now I'm going to have to. So I've never been. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, or I went I think I went when I was like four and I don't remember it. Yeah. Um but apparently I cried the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, money well spent. <laughs> no, Poor cause... parents pushing you around like fucking oh, hell, meet Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Enjoy it. Because <laughs> we went to the went to Universal, we went on the E. T. Ride and I cried at ET. We then went on the Jaws ride. I cried at Jaws. Sorry, that I sort of understand. I'm like putting your four year old in a shark attack situation. And then I think we met Goofy and I cried. That one, not as much. But oh my god, Villains Land. Yes, I think that the world has been waiting for this and Monsters Inc. Land. Ah, stop it. I cannot wait for the Disney Bounce. What would you do? Um, well, what would we do, I think? Because we're going together now. I'm putting this out there. I'm coming in September. Mike and Sally. Oh, my God. Who's who? I feel I feel like it, it wouldn't matter. No. I oh. feel like I should be Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think so, too. <laughs> I'm quite sure. Yeah. Although, now that you've got the blue furry costume for Stitch. Oh, actually, to be fair. Unless I just try and fit into yours. Yeah, it, you could it, do that. It'll be like sort of crop top. It'll look awful. People will be running away. I get, I'm the only person to get blacklisted from going to Disney. That's how you get dress coded. Yeah. <laughs> Should they do that? Yeah, don't they like, say, like, go into that shop and pick up a they T-shirt? They escort you into a top and then, yeah, you have to get a T-shirt. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but I might just start getting in my pants and socks. Free T-shirt! Criminal record two! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No, I really want us to go to Florida. I think we should. Um, oh, and they're also bringing back Robert Downey Jr., as Iron Man for a new Avengers ride. I did know that. Yeah. I did know that. That's crazy. Isn't it? Like, I don't know what Kevin Feige has, like, on Robert Downey Jr. at this point. Like, if he's got his family, like, chained somewhere. He's got a gun to his head, yeah. like, something. Like, you will never leave this now. <laughs> Till he's 90. Oh, I love you 3,000. Please stop making me say this. <laughs> Please. It will still, it will be the year 3,000 when he's finished. That's a nice zing, by the way. That was pretty good. <laughs> if I worked for like the Daily Mail, I was like, that would be the, the headline I'd use. <laughs> but I'm glad neither of us work for them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, Zootopia 2. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we get to talk about your hear me out here. Because when I saw you post about this, I nearly threw my phone in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> Please, just, just elaborate for the people. So the context behind this is that me and Z, my friend Zainab, were mm-hmm. at a screening for My Lady Jane and one of the main characters into it, spoiler, turns into a horse. Yep, 
<laughs> yep, okay. And she, she was like, do you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and she has me on video going, hear me out, right? Have you seen Zootopia? <laughs> And then I spent the next like week sending her Nick Wilde um, edits on Instagram. Oh, 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 so this wasn't a flippant thing. I'm just like, yeah, Nick Wilde's a bit fit. It was no, seriously, I've got a Pinterest board about this geezer. You will accept that I want to snog that fox. It's the voice. What can I say? Well, that's Jason Bateman then. <laughs> say Jason Bateman's <laughs> sexy. You don't have to say that little furry fox is sexy. No, but listen, it's the eyes. They're quite cute. <laughs> no, yeah, joking. but you also want the rest of the body. You want them to yeah, be cute okay. as well. <laughs> I just, I feel like he, him and Judy go so well together, you know? They're one of my, like, I love them. Yeah, because they're both animals. They should be <laughs> together. You're a human being. With a, like a home. Well, a... I don't mean I would actually go there, but it's. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> but I mean, as in, like, a, hear me out. Like, if I was an animal, I would. <laughs> if I was a bunny, yeah, I'd go there. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You haven't humiliated yourself enough on this podcast today. <laughs> I feel like people always say to me, they're like, you give off tall people energy, like you're so like elegant and put together and then they meet me and they're like, you're a fucking gremlin. <laughs> they're like, what is wrong with you? And I'm there like... If you was a gremlin, you'd be better suited to Nick Wilde <laughs> than you are now. At least they're both creatures that are furry, yeah. Gremlins aren't furry. Yeah, they are. Little gizmo. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You don't fancy him as well, do you? No, 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 oh, no. I have God. a boundary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a limit. I'm not a sicko. <laughs> I don't even think Nick is the fittest of all the foxes. Who do I you think, think is? Robin Hood, I no, think. No, I don't. I don't. It's the hands. <laughs> yeah, they're too too human, if anything. Yeah, Yuck. I don't like them. I'd rather a nice paw. <laughs> I don't want to be able to hold hands comfortably. Oh, not with a fox. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, on my phone, I actually have. I wrote out a hear me out list for you. Oh wow, a whole li- a whole list. <laughs> yeah. But uh, well, while you find that, I'd also say fantastic Mr. Fox, George Clooney Fox. Wow. No, not as fit. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hear me out. As if you've got a list, by the way. <laughs> I'm worried about how much storage this has on your phone. Puss in boots. <laughs> Well, I don't like how these are all like quite feline creatures, but okay, let's go. I'm feeling a bit itchy. Yeah. Go on. At, no. least, at least Nick Wilde wore clothes. Pussy Boots has a hat and boots. <laughs> yeah. This one is a bit rogue, but Tafiti from <laughs> She's just rocks and flowers. She's beautiful. <laughs> she, she is stunning. To Do you know be what fair. I mean? She's beautiful. But again, I don't know how you two become one when she's like 300 foot tall. Can you just pick me up in her little hand? Just a little... Do you know what I mean? Little, love you. <laughs> and I'd be like... Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when you go off the notes and you start freestyling. I said mummy. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have said this that. This should be a family friendly <laughs> podcast. <laughs> See, I had a few as well. Uh, I've told you this one. Lola from Shark Tale. So fair. Angelina Jolie fish. So valid. I, I, there's nothing wrong with that. Only problem is, fish and chips is like my favourite meal. So I'm like, I don't think we'd work in the long term. You'd be like a vampire. Like, you'd have to make sure you were full when you saw her. Because <laughs> you'd be like, mmm. Oh, you look delicious, huh? Mmm. Um, also, uh, Sally from Cars. Yes. See, I Thank would do you. her and Lightning McQueen. Mm. I feel like Lightning McQueen wouldn't actually be a very good boyfriend. No, I think he's very arrogant. Yeah. Whereas Sally, she's kind, but also when she's got a little like tattoo on her back, you know. She'd look after me. She's a wild child as well. Like I think she's kind of perfect. I think so. Also, have you seen Flushed Away? Not the rat. (laughs) So fit. Not the rat. So fit. Don't come at me like, oh, you can't do a rat. A fox is fine. But a rat, you're so gross. Or did you ever see Rise of the Guardians? Yes. So when I was younger, Jack Frost, because Chris Pine, what a man. Oh, yeah, Chris Chris Pine could play anything, and I go, I'd probably fancy that. I call him Daddy Pine. 
please don't say you call him that to his face. <laughs> no, I met him though. Yeah, and, and how did he, that go? He was the nicest man I've ever met in my whole entire life. He was like, That's should we get a picture? <laughs> but go on. He he was like, let's get a picture. And you know when like sometimes celebrities are like in the photo? No, this man had a huge smile. He was chatting to me and my friend about like the non-magical characters, like bards in D&D. We had a whole conversation about Dungeons and Dragons. And he was just amazing. Oh, that is annoying. Fit people should be horrible. I think that's the rule of thumb. Fit people should not allow to be both. Yeah, I understand. Like, like Ryan Reynolds, just get in the bin. Do you know what I mean? Like, we you don't get have to it. be that nice. You're gorgeous. And you're funny. And you're nice. And you're rich. <laughs> and you're Canadian. <laughs> oh, we get it. You're perfect in every single way. But on, on the note of Nick Wilde, mm -hmm. I got in touch with a little friend. No. So I want to I wanna give you something here. Um, who... who has, who's well aware that you fancy Nick Wilde. Um, so I'm going to just do this for you. If you just click play on this little fella, this is for you. <laughs> Hello, Alice. My name is Flash. This is the actual Flash from the movie. Stop it! How did nice you do this? To see you. Again. Here. Oh, here. <laughs> I got it wrong. Oh! Today. <laughs> it's it's all, you got to wait a while. Your friend, Daniel, who happens to be a wonderful guy. Didn't ask him to say so that. So true. Yeah, you did. You wrote him a script. A bit of a gossip. This takes up a lot of storage on my phone this told video. Told me that you oh have a crush on my good friend Nick. Nick. I can send it to you. It's such a long video. Oh my god. Don't mind waiting. I'm actually obsessed. In line. He's he says he'll give you... At the DMV. He'll give you Nick's number. To give it to me. You know <laughs> <laughs> First in line. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's the actual flash from the movie. How from did you do Zootopia. that? Oh, just... he's, he's connected. <laughs> to a sloth. <laughs> to an animated sloth. That's incredible. Thank you. Yeah, but... It's about a four and a half minute video. What is essentially a 30 second voice note because of all of the speed. It, I've had to delete nice family photos on my phone just so that I can get that on there. Nick. Nick. When I got it back, I was like, ah, oh, he's, he's committing to the bit. Oh, he's really committing to the bit here. <laughs> that might be the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Oh my God. Well, I Thank think I, you. you deserve it after what I've done to you today. You're rubbish at dancing. Ugh, you fuck. <laughs> Ugh, you want to stuck a fox. Ugh. <laughs> so I think it's only fair. Oh my God, thank you. I think this is your way in Zootopia 2. I think I should have a cameo in it. As a? I didn't think this far ahead. Um, People say I remind them of a deer. Which is actually the natural enemy of the fox. <gasps> so it will be a love story. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Judy. <laughs> Hop on, hop on over. <laughs> that sounds like it didn't just come off the top of your head. That sounds like you've been writing evil fanfic with you and Nick. And then I said, hop off, Judy, and send. <laughs> that sounds like you've been planning this evil... Have you been in my room? <laughs> Is there cameras? Is my phone bugged? <laughs> and yeah, if I was a fox, it would have been fine. <laughs> have you been in my room? What, uh, what does he say? What does he say? Sl Dumb Bunny, Sly Fox. <laughs> I love this film. <laughs> no, maybe too much. Maybe too much, if anything. But I just find it so amazing, the town that they're in. Like, there's just, that just amazes me every time I watch it. And you can, I think it's in the Disneyland, like in Japan, they have it. You can go to it. So what you've done there is wasted all your money booking Florida, because they don't have Zootopia there. I think they have one in Japan. Well, 2025, I'm going to go to Japan. Yeah, done. I'm going to do Disney. 
and Star Wars Celebration. Oh my God, I want to do that so badly. Genuinely, With... me and my fiance want to book Japan for our honeymoon next year. Now you've reminded me Star Wars Celebration's there. I can't wait to take her, someone who's only ever seen half of The Phantom Menace. She is going to hate it. What a better way to spend your honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, for me, can't wait. So my uh, best friend actually did that. No. Yeah, it was. Um, she came back early from her honeymoon with her husband to go to Star Wars Celebration. Uh, please tell me they're still together. Yeah. I'm okay, sure. thank God. Okay, so I know it works. It's fine. It, it's fine. Actually, so me and my, well, she will be my wife at the time. We've got our mini moon booked, not next week, the week after. Mini moon. So we're just staying in the country. We're going to do like Aww. a little week, just us two. Lovely. But they've offered me an interview with Jeff Goldblum here. So I might have to like have half of the mini moon <laughs> off. Have half of it. Have half of it <laughs> off. Again, I'm whispering as if she's not going to listen back to it. She probably won't listen back to this if truth be told. I could say anything on this. She would never know. But I might have to, like, drive to meet Jeff Goldblum and then drive back. It's Jeff Goldblum. It is Jeff Goldblum. Like, what a, oh. I think I'd do the same. <laughs> it's like, the. I think he's the perfect man. You fancy a fox? <laughs> no, to be fair, he's very charming. Yeah, I met him once. about the fox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always talking about the fox. <laughs> you ever want to talk about any girls? I'm t I'm thinking of a fox. Okay, weather's hot today, isn't it? You know what else is hot? <laughs> no, don't say it. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 well, oh, I can't say that. That's too far. Yes, you can. Have you ever played Baldur's Gate? No, 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 no. But I've seen it on TikTok and stuff. I love how this is a movie podcast and we've spoken about everything for movies. <laughs> if you've come here for movies on the Movie Dweeb podcast with the Movie Dweeb, piss off. Because <laughs> we're not talking about any of those. We're talking about Foxes, Love Island and Baldur's Gate. <laughs> but sorry, what were you saying about Baldur's Gate? What? Well, let's just say there's a bear. Right, bye. <laughs> Bye. I, d <laughs> I don't want the bear. But there's an option with the bear. No. <laughs> yeah. Have you been tempted to click no, the option? No, I accidentally killed him. <laughs> <laughs> what are the two options? <laughs> Stab or shag? What? What game is this? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, I want to play it now. You should. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, again, you're fanning yourself <laughs> off there now. You're like, I, I just told him I nearly <laughs> shagged a bear on a video game. <laughs> How long of this have we got left, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's it. Oh that's... my God. Thanks for having me. This is, thank you for sticking around. You've been through so much in here. So everyone else, I'm just like, oh yeah, what's your favourite movie? Yeah. <laughs> for you, I'm like, tell me your most embarrassing flaws. <laughs> tell me your craziest, hear me <laughs> out. I'm so sorry. I bought your bottle of water from Greg's. What more could you want? Please sponsor this, I beg. <laughs> I don't even want to be paid in money. I'm happy with sausage rolls and chicken bakes. Oh, do you know what? It's a rogue choice, but the cheese and onion bakes. You're right, that is a rogue choice. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gone for one of them. They're really good. Or is this you still trying to get the sponsorship? Like, no, they're really They're good. really good. Yum, yum. <laughs> <Ding>. Yum, yum. <laughs> Use Alice 20. <laughs> <laughs> But no, thank you so much. I will send you that little video of Flash as well. Oh, that please you can, do. You will need to book like two and a half hours out of your day to watch it. I'm going to, whenever someone like comes to my house, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to show them that. Or like whenever someone meets me for the first time, I'm be like, oh, like, like, what do you do? I'll just show them. Yeah, but then you have to explain, like, oh, why did you get that video? Well, I went on this guy's podcast and told him I fancied a fox. So, oh, why are you leaving? Why, why are you running away? Come back. <laughs> no, I promise friends. I'm not weird. <laughs> you just have to context people. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. Thank you for having me. This is my first ever podcast I've ever been on. Oh, my God. Will it be your last? Have I ruined it for you? No. <laughs> no, of course no. not. <laughs> no, it's so fine. <laughs> Anyway, here's a restraining order. N never out me on the internet ever again, please. I've never been so roasted in 45 minutes of my life, but I've enjoyed every second of it. Verbally and physically, because this room is boiling. Bloody hell. <laughs> Let's get out. Let's leave. Thank you so much. Thank you.